When Darth Sidious executes Order 66 at the end of the Clone Wars, few Jedi survive the initial ambush, and those who do are unprepared for the fight that lies ahead of them. Branded as traitors, they have little choice but to go into hiding, hunted by their clone troops and unable to trust anyone around them. Leading the clone armies leaves the Jedi Council scattered throughout the galaxy when Order 66 is enacted. Many fall to their clone comrades, leaving the Jedi Order virtually leaderless. Masters Rancesis and Kaj survive and go into hiding. Master Yoda manages to escape Kashyyyk, and Obi-Wan Kenobi evades his troops on Utapau, but they realize that the Empire has set a trap by way of false message, instructing the Jedi to return to the temple. During these dark times, the remaining Jedi live as fugitives, and a single sighting of their lightsaber is enough to draw the attention of the Inquisitorius. These Jedi targets either fall to an Inquisitor or Darth Vader's blade, including Jedi Librarian Jocasta Nu, or face a worse fate, imprisonment and torture. Some captured Jedi are executed, like Jedi Master Luminara Unduli, but Jedi Padawan Trilla Siduri and others fall to the dark side, joining the Inquisitors. Once proud Jedi resort to any work they can find. The Padawan of Depa Bilaba, Caleb Doom, trades his saber for a blaster and his old name for a new one, Kanan Jarrus. He struggles with the guilt of surviving Order 66, finding little comfort by drinking away his problems. He makes a life as a freighter pilot before joining forces with the rebellious Hera Syndulla, renewing his purpose in life. Much like Kanan Jarrus, the young Jedi Cal Kestis takes up a new life after Order 66, hiding his identity while making a living in the Scrapper's Guild on Bracca, and cutting himself off from the Force. Using the Force to save a friend during an accident draws the attention of both the Inquisitors and new allies. Another former Jedi, Seer Junda, welcomes Kestis to her crew. They race to find a Jedi holocron containing the names of Force-sensitive children before the Empire. Cal reconnects with the Force, but Junda's past traumas leave her without such a connection. Together they obtain the list and destroy it before the Empire can find the younglings. Subscribe and follow for more Star Wars content.